Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm in Las Vegas, and today I'm going to be taking you to Mandalay Bay. I'm going to be sharing with you a lot in this video today, but let's get the boring stuff out of the way. First of all, where is it located? Mandalay Bay is the last hotel on the south end of the Strip. It is on the west side and is situated right next to the Luxor. There is a tram for easier access to the Luxor and Excalibur. There are also indoor pedestrian walkways. The location could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you want your vacation experience to be. If you choose to stay at Mandalay Bay, you may have to use Uber, Lyft, taxis, or drive yourself to get to other locations. The Las Vegas Strip looks small on a map, but it is very, very large. If you are planning on attending a concert or a game at Allegiant Stadium, this is an excellent location. It's only a half mile away and very walkable. You just take an escalator down right out of the resort and go on the walkway. There is an Avis rent a car right on the property should you want to go on a day trip. Now let's talk about check-in. Mandalay Bay is an MGM resort. One thing I love about MGM properties is you could check in when your room is ready. Sometimes it could be as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. Of course, that is not promised. That is based on availability. You could opt for online check-in and get a room key card when you arrive. Or you could skip that line altogether and use your actual phone as a room key. You would have to have the MGM app downloaded on your phone to use it as a room key. The lobby is big, beautiful, and smells amazing. Right off of the lobby is an oversized sundry shop. Okay, now we have all the boring stuff out of the way. Let's go check in. Wanna go see our room? This is a comp room I received by playing the My Vegas Casino app on my phone. It's a great way to get comp stuff if you don't gamble much. It's totally free to play too. We are on the 14th floor. You need a key to access the elevators. I'm traveling today with my beautiful cousin, Anita. Say hello to Anita. First thing I always like to do is go check out the view. Oh my God, amazing. We're gonna go down there later and go check that out. I'm gonna hand the camera over to Anita and she's gonna tell you about her first impressions. So wide open and the smell, it smells like the beach and the room, this is so cute. It's so cozy, but yet it's luxurious. It's, it's real, and the view of this pool is amazing. Um, but then the room is just so pretty, it's different. I like it, I like all the different textiles. The background over the beds and... It's got the wallpaper and yeah. the wood, and it's got the like almost shutter kind of doors, closets, which is the closets. Yeah, really pretty. But that's where you could find a safe, and then the bathroom is really nice. This goes into like a different color scheme, which I think is great. It's got dual sinks, which is awesome. This room was larger and more impressive than most standard rooms in Las Vegas. We were unfortunately only here for one night and had a lot to see and do. We really weren't in this beautiful room too much. It was awesome though. I remember the shower being great. Neither of us even used the tub. It was just large, deep soaking. It was not a jacuzzi. Now, I know I mentioned this in a lot of my videos, but I always want to mention this because I feel like if I could reach one person that doesn't know I did my job, Anita's going to tell you yeah, the prices. Like 19, these shots. They're $19? Yeah, a beer huh. is 14 Oh my God. is 14 Those big bottles on the bottom, I believe, are 62 56 Champagne is 67 You do not want to come here without booze. Uh, the <laughs> romance kit is $50. Wow. Then it says personal item storage fee. What's $50. the water? So we can't even put anything in there? Is that what they're saying? Yeah, if you touch anything in there, they will charge you. So well, you can't. Close this. Um, yeah, you can't put. It's $24. Oh my gosh. But then it goes right small. here are $11. Yeah. Which at home you could buy a whole big one for $2, one on sale, two for four. I probably at one point in my life would have paid $11 for that. Yeah, no, but... I didn't. <laughs> That's why I didn't No, that. not today, no. No. Uh, candies, these are $12 for some fancy M&M looking things. You can open it, you could look in there, but you don't touch anything. Okay, that's the room tour. Got that, guys? Don't touch anything in the refrigerator unless you want to pay dearly for it. Let's go hit the casino really quickly.
you're doing pretty good at the casino. You know, you're up 30, you're down 30, you're up 30, you're down 20, you know, it's that kind of day. But I like that. At least they give you something to play with. But we're getting pretty hungry, so I'm telling Anita about Border Grill. So we're going to go over there and go get some, I don't know what we're going to get. Definitely guacamole. The Border Grill, spot on. And this is a blood orange margarita with some black something around the rim. Yummy for the tummy. It's a red one. We ended up getting margaritas, which came with chips and dips, different kinds of dips. The street corn, which is fabulous. Guacamole. And the guacamole, delicious. This food is so good and it, the portions are huge. It is now the next morning. I go out very early so I could film while there's not a lot of people around. This is probably like 5 a.m. Mandalay Bay is just beautiful. It's one of my favorite resorts. And like I said before, it's on the end of the strip, so it's a little inconvenient. But it's honestly, if I had to pick three resorts that like I never want to leave, Mandalay Bay is one of them. I could easily stay here for a week and never leave and be okay with that. It's, it's just great. There's so much to do and see here. The other two resorts I never want to leave are the Bellagio and the Venetian. If you're enjoying this video, can you do me a favor, a huge favor, and hit that like button. It really helps my algorithm with YouTube. And if you want to know more about Las Vegas and if you enjoy my video content, please subscribe to my channel. I will leave a playlist, several playlists at the end of this video too if you want to see more of my videos. I have some extra time walking around this morning waiting for the pool to open. So I'm going to take you for a little tour of the Four Seasons and Delano. Both are attached to Mandalay Bay. When you walk into the Four Seasons, at least to me, it feels like you just walked into a wedding. It's visually very elegant, but attitude-wise, it doesn't feel stuffy and pretentious. I don't know if it's because it's in Las Vegas or if it's just the brand itself with the people that work there and the people visiting. They all seem very nice. Coming up, we still have the pools tour. I'm also going to be taking you to the Four Seasons pool. We still have to figure out where we want to go for breakfast, or maybe we should go out for lunch or brunch. <laughs> there are so many great places to dine in Mandalay Bay. Four Seasons does not have a casino, but if you walk out through the lobby and down another hallway, you will get to use the Mandalay Bay casinos and all the restaurants and the pools. Big perk about staying in Four Seasons. And you have this pool, which would be a private pool if you're only staying in Four Seasons. If you're staying at Mandalay Bay, you cannot access this pool. At least that's what I was told. But of course, rules are always subject to change. But this was truly lovely. This was, video was taken probably about 7 a.m. I'm doing a little snooping around. They have ballrooms here too, so I assume that this is probably a great place to have a wedding or a function. I will stay here one day. <laughs> I'm determined I'm going to stay at every single resort in Las Vegas. That is my goal, and I'm gonna make a video about all of them. Beautiful place. Now let's go back to Mandalay Bay and check out some restaurants. Still ahead, I'm gonna be taking you over next door to the Hotel Delano. That is also an MGM property that is connected to Mandalay Bay. Then I'm gonna be taking you downstairs. I'm gonna show you how to get down to the pool area, and we're gonna see the Lazy River, the pool, and the beach. We're starting to walk over towards Delano right now. We're going to pass Bet MGM Sportsbook. If you are still with me, you are a total rock star, and I appreciate you very much. I know this one's a long one. I'm trying to give you as much information as I can while keeping it as interesting as possible. In between Mandalay Bay and Delano, you can find Michael Jackson's One. Also, the Skyfall Bar, which offers incredible views of Las Vegas. Welcome to Delano. Here is a look at Della's Kitchen. It is open, I believe, for breakfast and lunch. We're gonna have brunch there later on in the video. Now we have to talk about Delano here. I mean, like when you're walking through here, and I know other people have told me that they agree with me, and I've said this in another video, it feels like you just walk through an invisible wall. If the atmosphere just changes. I don't know what it is, the high ceilings, the music, there's maybe something they pump through the air. <laughs> I instantly feel like I just did like an hour long yoga class or something. It's very boho, very just chill. I, I, I don't know how to describe it. I love it there. I could just 
stay there forever. <laughs> Here's a look at Delano parking, and I believe there is an Uber and Lyft and taxi drop off here as well. And we have still so much more to see. I have to do a lot of walking. I have to burn off all this food. All the margaritas and guacamole. I love this place, Citizens. I never sat here and ate at Citizen, but I've done takeout, usually on pool days. And I'm sure the pool food is fine, but sometimes I just like to go take a walk and get out of the sun for a little bit. I go get takeout and I bring it back to the pool. The pool's still not open, so I played some slots. Then I'm gonna go check out Sea Breeze Cafe. I think we wanna go eat at Della's and that's what we ended up doing, but I wanted to check this place out because it's so beautiful. Definitely wanna have breakfast here one day. Have you stayed at Mandalay Bay before? Where do you like to have breakfast? Please share with me in the comments below. I'd love to try new places and I love to hear from you guys. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm here by myself, but when you guys say, hey, I'm from here and I'm going now, and, or I went there because you suggested it, it makes me feel really good. I, I, this is a lot of the reason why I make these videos is to meet new people, to share my experiences and what I'm learning. My Facebook friends don't want to see and hear about this. They all think I'm crazy. So you guys are stuck with me. <laughs> people are like, why do you travel so much? I'm like, how could you not travel? I don't know. I, I, I am most happy when I'm on the road. And guess what? It's time to check out the pool. I took the escalator down, but you could also take the elevators down straight from your room. It goes right to the pool. That is one of the greatest things about staying in Mandalay Bay. If you stay at Four Seasons or Delano, you could use the pools here, but you're gonna have a little bit of a hike back to your room. If you wanna see how much of a hike it is from Delano to Mandalay Bay, I actually made a video of it in one of my previous days of my walk from the Delano lobby to the Mandalay Bay pool. I'll leave that in a playlist at the end of this video labeled Mandalay Bay. Click on it and you can see all my videos about Mandalay Bay, including a very extensive pool tour where I show you cabanas in our personal cabana stays, including Moria, which is the adult only pool. We had a fabulous day up there. It was fantastic. I have a whole video about that. So if you really want to see more of this pool, I highly recommend checking out my playlist at the end of this video. But what I can tell you today is these tan chairs, they are free and they are first come, first serve. Line starts lining up like an hour before the park opens. People are crazy to get in here. If you rent a cabana, I believe you get two rafts for free. Otherwise, you have to pay for them. There is an air pump available if you want to bring your own tubes. As far as I know, as far as major casinos, Mandalay Bay and MGM Grand are the only ones that have the lazy rivers. There is another property called Tahiti Village that I frequent a lot. It's a timeshare. They have a lazy river too and a really nice one. However, Tahiti Village is not in the strip area. It is on Las Vegas Boulevard, but it is even more, more down south than this is. As far as Las Vegas goes, this is the bomb. This is, this is my favorite. I love, love, love this pool area. It's massive. If you were here for a week, you could sit in a different place every day and get a whole different experience. But that brings me to another thing is the price. You know, drinks and food, everything is so much more expensive. If you went to a place like Tahiti Village, you could bring your own snacks to the pool. Over here, like pretty much anything you want to consume, you have to buy within here or within Mandalay Bay. They check your bags when you enter. Also, when you come in, they're gonna be checking for a room key and it needs to be activated. So if you are gonna be checking out 11 o'clock, make sure you check out a little early while your key's still activated so you can get into the pool area. You're totally allowed to use the pool the day of your check-in or check-out before or after you get your room. These aren't necessarily cabanas per se, they're more like pavilions. They're underneath the Morea Club. They're really nice. Cabanas are a funny topic for me because I always thought they were a total waste of money. But I also never was one to spend the entire day at a pool. But when I come with my cousin Pinky, she loves to spend the entire day from dusk to dawn at the pool area. And she likes to get cabanas and I can see why. I was like laying on the couch, watching friends. You know? <laughs> it was just fun. It, you make like a day event out of it. I feel like it's worth it, especially if you have a large party and you're planning on getting reserved seating anyway. Everybody would have a seat. You get a couple tubes. Anita is now awake and I found her in the casino. I like the way that sounds. All right. Oh, you didn't even get this last time, right? No. This genie game is pretty new and it was one of her favorites. 
Now it's time for brunch. We're gonna go back to where Delano was and go to Della's Kitchen. Della's Kitchen is the kind of place you could graze all day on bottomless drinks and Bloody Marys, but we're gonna be good today. After this, we're gonna head back to the resort we were staying at. We were staying at the Marriott Grand Chateau. Beautiful place. I was a little bad here. I ordered a fried chicken sandwich and some french fries, but it was really, really good. <laughs> and my cousin Anita, she was a little healthier here. She ordered the turkey club, and we both really loved our experience here. And we adored Mandalay Bay. We had a fabulous time. To see more of my videos about Mandalay Bay or any other Vegas resorts, including what we did in a day in Las Vegas, click on one of these playlists right here. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure you book that trip and you pack your bags and go. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.